This is a goniometer. The axis is in the middle. The movable arm is with the motion being measured. The stationary arm stays still. Dorsiflexion, knee flex. The starting position is supine, knee flex 30 to 90 degrees, ankle in neutral. Before measuring, landmarks should be placed axis, inferior to the lateral malleolus, stationary arm, lateral parallel to the longitudinal axis of the fibula, movable arm, parallel to the sole of the heel. Dorsiflexion, knee extended. The starting position is supine, knee extended. The axis is inferior to the lateral malleolus. Stationary arm parallel to longitudinal axis of fibula. Movable arm parallel to the sole of the heel. Plantar flexion. The starting position is supine, knee flexion 20 to 30 degrees, ankle in neutral. The axis is inferior to the lateral malleolus, stationary arm parallel to the longitudinal axis of the fibula, movable arm parallel to the sole of the heel. Subtalar inversion. The starting position is prone with feet off the end of the plant, ankle in neutral. The axis is over the mark at the middle superior aspect of the calcaneus. The stationary arm is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the lower leg. The movable arm is along the midline of the posterior aspect of the calcaneus. Subtalar eversion. The starting position is prone with feet off the end ankle in neutral. The axis is over the mark at the midline of the superior aspect of the calcaneus. The stationary arm is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the lower leg. The movable arm is along the midline of the posterior aspect of the calcaneus. Inversion. The starting position is supine feet off the end of the plinth. The axis is the dome of the talus. The stationary arm is the midline of the talus. The movable arm is along the second ray. Eversion. The starting position is supine, feet off the end of the plant. The axis is the dome of the talus. The stationary arm is midline of the tibia. The movable arm is parallel to the second ray. <laughs> 